guys, it's 24-7 Snakes. Uh, we're here today to basically show you a feeding and weighing video. Um, Apologise ahead for any bad video because it's only me here today. So I'm sh struggling a little bit because I prefer it to be easier by hand and not by tripod. Uh, so basically, now I'm going to show you all the feeding footage. It won't be all the snakes because we couldn't get the footage for all of them because they were either not eating or just being too lazy to strike for it. So go check that out. Can you remember a couple of weeks ago, we were saying that there is a fully grown Cali King Snake that could quite easily eat a large mouse, but only can be bothered to eat these things? Yeah, well here we go. He'll go absolutely minstrel. I'm feeding him with tweezers because he's a pain in the ass. Normally, he'll try and get out. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed all that snake feeding for feeding footage. We finally got it so I'm glad you're happy. Um, so basically what I'm going to now is record each snake weighing but what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to do one by one and then cut it out of the video because for some reason my camera's being a bit spacky again so let's see how it goes. Right hey guys um, basically now we're going to go and do the spider mail and he, ooh, and he is nicely waiting and looking for me to go pick him up. So we're going to see how much he weighs. Has the scales gone off? Yes, they have. So let's quickly turn that back on. And by the time we grab him, they should have settled. Right, let's see how much he weighs. A good 757. Right, that's good. So let's pick him up. Put him back in. Running straight to the back where it's nice and warm for him. So that's good for him. Right. We've had to put some wedges under here because we found out we did keep our Het Orange Ghost on the top one, but because the space is a little wide, she got out, climbed on top of there, and as I tried to put her back in, she nearly went for me, so let's see how this goes, and hopefully my camera won't spack out, so I might be able to do all of them with you. So this is our Graziani, oh no, this is our Mojave, I've missed out the Graziani, oh well, we can do her in a minute. He's shed this morning, so he's well awake and ready for everyone to see. How much does he weigh? I think he was 600 last time, maybe. Oh no, he must have been 500, yeah. He's 565 now. You see, you're seeing him on his best day. He's absolutely beautiful today. But, as he said, he shed this morning, and I literally catched him just after he shed, so... Look at that beautiful boy. And what we do is go down in rows. So I'll do the pastel afterwards. Right, here's the little bugger that nearly took my finger off the other day. Figure out where she is. There she is, curled up in a ball. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah. How much does she weigh? Ooh, 428. Wow, she's put on quite a bit of weight. I mean, definitely while we're away, she has put on quite a bit, because, see, she was quite skinny gear when me and Liam left, so. I'm finding it quite weird to see her podging up quite nicely, ready for the black pastel. Still need to get her up to 1500, though. Right, here's the Graziani. Where is she? She's all the way at the back. When did we feed these? We fed her on the Saturday, so... I have to be careful with picking and lifting her up a little bit. She might still have a little food in her, but as long as I keep her just right, I shouldn't hurt her. She is nearly 1,000 grams. And I think last time we weighed her, she was about 850, so she's podging up quite well now we've got her feeding. She's looking really nice, nice bright. 
So let's try and get her back in the box without actually hurting her. So yeah, people say you shouldn't hold snakes a couple of days after you fed them, but as long as you hold them closer to their head and closer to their tail, so you watch where the bump is in their body for where their food was, they should be fine. I mean, we've done it and we've never hurt a snake so far, so fingers crossed, everything's all good. And here's our three normal girls, and hopefully they're still all in a nice pile together. I won't see on camera which one's which, but I know which one's which. Let's just have a look at her. This one I believe to be April, so let's plonk her on. She's 120, so no, this is Tango. She's the one who's not eating much, I think. You'd be able to tell in a minute, because one of them would be stupidly... Oh, come on, guys. That's, that's not fair. I've only got one arm today. Can you please let go? I'd be very happy if you did. Yeah, let's grab her. I'm not sure if she's in shed or not, but I have showed her to the other people in the house. Ooh, wow. 223. She's putting on the pounds. So, yeah, the one I did show you a second ago is Tango. Yeah. We're feeding these tonight, so hopefully we'll get some nice pictures. And don't you go for me, you little bugger. Yeah. So obviously this one is peaches. I can tell by the nice blushing down her side. And she is 182, so obviously one of them's either got a nice big poo bunged up on him. <laughs> or one of them only actually yeah, one of them at three last time I fed him. One of them at two, and one of them only at one, so they're all growing at different rates now, so we're gonna be able to start telling who's who. Right, and now I'm going to show you the hep pied. He shed this morning, but one of his eye caps got stuck on. So we sh struggled to get him out. So I'll take him out and do him. There we go. Look at him, he's nice and beautiful colour. What does he weigh? Nearly 200. 191. So he's looking to be a nice big boy. The whole of his head still had the shed on this morning, so we struggled to get that off. Let's put him in his hide to keep him nice and happy. Right, this is going to be a task in itself, getting the big female out. I'm sorry about this, but I have to lift the shelf up to push him back in because they're a bit stubborn. We've called this one Mabel. I don't know why they called her that, but... Oh, bloody hell, she's heavy. I reckon she's over 200 now. 2,000 grams. No? 1,580, so... So you've lost about 200 grams, gal. Yeah, she's not been in lately. We just think she's on a fast, but we need her to keep over that 1,500 for this month. Because we're hoping to breed her to the Mojave, so let's just put her hide back for her. I know I put them around the wrong way, but I'm sure it doesn't really differ to them. Only, yeah, as I said the other day, I nearly got my first bite from a snake, but yeah, sorry about that. I kind of hoped the camera, so it cancelled recording, so that's me for speaking a bit too early, but yeah, all I was saying then is that I nearly got my first bite the other day, as I mentioned earlier, so. But luckily I've still not been bitten. And my brother thinks I'm a lucky bugger for not being bit yet, so. <laughs> I'm hoping to see how my fortune goes on, don't you? Right, this is our black pastel het ghost. And he is 79596. And he's getting quite nice and big now. As soon as he hits about a thousand grams, we won't worry about putting any more weight on him. Because I mean, we like our males to be about 1,000 to 1,500. I mean, on Mojave, we're trying to um, put the pounds on so when him and the big female start breeding, he doesn't get crushed. Poor fella. Yeah. Right, here's a cinnamon. I don't know if he's in shed or not. I don't think he is. Is he? No, he's not. Look at him, he's beautiful. He's a light. 
he's like one of our lightest males, I believe. So let's just put him in there. How much does he weigh? 673. Oh, no, 672. Yeah, as I said, he's our smallest one. Still my favourite, though, because he looks absolutely gorgeous with all this chocolatey colouring, which is really nice. So, let's just get him back in. I won't do the recording of the ones downstairs because it's too much effort to bring them up here, and plus I think one of them might still be in shed, so... Yeah, all we use for our weighing is a simple salter weight, as you can see from the boxing, boxing right there, 15 year guarantee. So if that does break, we can claim. Also, we just use a basic tub, like I'm sure any of you guys use when you weigh your snakes. We've got Cupid over here, he's just gone into, well, somebody else in the house has just seen he's going to shed, but I don't think he is, because he had a lovely bath in his water this morning. And also we got our two corns here. The caramel corn did escape earlier this week, but she is in here somewhere, I believe. Yeah, she escaped. We forgot to put the tag back in and she opened it up by about that much. I managed to get out. Where is she? Oh, there she is. She's hiding under the log. Can you see her? Right there. Yeah. She obviously likes snuggling next to the hypo motley. We've still got all our eggs. None of them hatched yet, but I don't think it's quite due yet. And all the baby snakes in there are going really well. It's feeding night for them tomorrow as well. Still, have, still all of them having to be force fed, but that sucks. So, is a nice way again. Turn that off. All of our snakes are making really good progress with putting on weight, apart from our smallest normal, but she hasn't been eating for a while. So, it's a bit of a bummer, but hopefully she'll get off a far soon. Same with the big normal girl. And then we'll go, well, go really well. So, this is 24-7 Snakes, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Bye-bye.